Soldiers of the invading Russian army have attacked the position of the Ukrainian Armed Forces 30th Brigade in the direction of Minkovka village in eastern Donetsk region's Bakhmut district. The Russian soldiers were using motorcycles in their attack. Russians advancing on 14 motorcycles, were intercepted and targeted by Ukrainian drones. Eight motorcycles and their crew members were destroyed by drone and artillery strikes. Other motorcyclists tried to hide in nearby trenches by abandoning their vehicles. However, their attempt to flee from the area failed. As a result of the Ukrainian attack, 16 Russian soldiers were killed by drone strikes. It should be noted that there have been growing cases of the use of motorcycles by Russian troops in their attack on Ukrainian positions. Commanders of the Russian troops blockaded at the Vovchansk aggregate plant maintained discipline through a regime of fear, violence and murder, Ukraine's intelligence report says. Dmitro, known by the pseudonym Linux, the commander of the Stuna unit of the Timor Special Forces of Ukraine, shared this information in an interview with Liganet. Over four months of blockade, Russian troops repeatedly attempted to breach the Vovchansk aggregate plant, with most being killed in the effort, according to a special forces officer. He noted that the Russian command misled its soldiers with promises of rotation, breaking the blockade and support leading to the frequent desertions and unsuccessful escape attempts. Russian logistics relied heavily on drone deliveries of water, food and ammunition resulting in widespread hunger and thirst. The commanders of the blockaded Russian special forces maintained discipline through fear, violence and murder, says Linux. He described how two Russian soldiers were shot dead by their commanders a few days before Ukraine's completely liberated the plant because they thought they had drank more water from a bottle than they were allowed to. Additionally, several wounded soldiers shot themselves due to a lack of medical care as their conditions worsened. The hunger at the plant became so severe that Russian troops resorted to killing and eating stray dogs. According to the captives, they considered eating the livers of dead Russian soldiers. We suspect they did so as we found severed pieces of meat and various organs on the bodies, said Dmitro. When the Russians took control of the plant, around 80 soldiers were present, most of whom were eliminated. In the final stages, Special forces captured about two dozen prisoners who recognized the futility of further resistance and surrendered. The captives reported that the GRU special forces commanding them were either killed or attempted to withdraw, abandoning their subordinates at the plant. They were outraged that commanders hoarded most of the food and water delivered via drone drops. Additionally, the Ukrainian military learned that the Russian soldiers had dug a well in one of the basements to access groundwater which helped sustain them during the blockade as drone supplies alone were insufficient. We have information that there were attempts to dig trenches from the buildings in the area where the Russians were before the plant. For this purpose, they used their soldiers as well as Ukrainian prisoners, noted the special forces officer.